Good morning everybody, welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to our very first day of our five days of Christmas. For those of you who have been following me for a while, I used to do 12 days of Christmas but that got to be too much um, for me with my busy schedule with my boys. <laughs> so I cut it back a few years ago to five days of Christmas so we'll do it like the, at the beginning of December. Um, like a Monday through Friday. So what we do is my team and I, we give you um, five days worth of different Christmas ideas for you to help you out with your last, min last minute Christmas stuff. Um, and we do some awesome giveaways for all five days, okay? So you might want to tune in every day be this week because you don't want to miss a thing. I will be doing daily giveaways. So basically, you would need to um, leave your comments on all of our blogs that are listed in, on my blog each day. Um, and I will announce that winner the following day. So for example, for today's winner, I will announce tomorrow on my blog. Tomorrow's winner, I will announce Wednesday and so forth, okay? So I'm super duper excited, so let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm going to be making this cute little candy cane treat for you, okay? So the first thing I am using um, are my little teeny tag dies okay and that comes with two little layering dies I'm using my stitched pop-up dies and I'm using my teeny tag holiday stamps and the stamp I'm using today is a little something just for you um, my stripey background I use along with my brand new and this is what I had released for Black Friday this year my brand new stitched postage dies and this comes um, with a total of five dies and I love love them okay so I was actually thinking about this pop-up die the other day actually on Thanksgiving while I was eating isn't that funny um, I was thinking how else can we use it okay so what I did was I went ahead, oh, let me show you the paper I used as well. I use this um, paper by Heidi Swap called Marquee Love. And I use this blue one here with some snowflakes on there. And this is a bigger, this is an eight and a half by eight and a half sheet, a pad, paper pad. And I picked this up at Joann's, okay? I'm using that um, along with the Heidi Swap, the glittered and foil paper and this has a total of 12 sheets in there okay so that's what I'm using for the actual paper today so what I did was I cut out this let's see I cut out the second one right here okay I cut that die out and so what I wanted to show you a different way to use the stitch pop-up die I kind of made a little pencil mark on marks here on where I wanted it to be. So here goes your stitched pop-up die that you would like to use, um, you know, that you would want to use in your cards. But I wanted to think of a different way because, you know, maybe everybody probably think, man, I don't make cards all the time. I make a lot of treats and this, you know, I've probably, I thought of something else to do with it. Okay. So what you want to do is just go ahead and put this because you want to make like a little slit or a little pocket. Usually in the past I would just grab my little craft knife and make two slits just like that. But I figured, you know, we can make our slits using this, okay? So let me just get some little tape here. And I kind of centered it the best I can. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put my little tape here, my little painter's tape here. And I'm going to run it through my machine really quick. Okay, I went ahead and I ran it through my machine, and basically this is what's going to happen. You could put a pencil in there, but for ours today, we're going to go ahead and use a candy cane, okay? Just like that. How cute is that, okay? But before we put this together, let's go ahead and just work on our cutie patootie. I also use the smallest little postage frame die, right? The smallest one in this set for this right here, okay? And all we're doing is we're going to pop up that little heart I have there. Now, of course, if you're doing this for students, you don't don't waste your pop-up dies. <laughs> just go ahead and just use, just adhere them directly down. You know what I'm saying? Because 
you know the kids, trust me, I know from experience, they're just going to tear them apart anyway, you know what I'm saying? So, you could go ahead and put that there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here, right in the corner. Um, let's see, I think I want to pop that up with, let's see here, I'm going to use this right here. Make sure I cut just a little piece of this. Might be a little too big. Yeah, just a hint. Let me just take a little piece off there. Now these are super duper easy for you to mass produce. Like I said, you can make it for your your children's classmates. You could, um, you know, make it for anybody who makes all of your crafty deliveries to you. Okay, so there we go. I went ahead and put that there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and just slide our little candy cane in here. Just like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp on here. I already have this here. This is that little teeny tag die. Um, I'm wondering if I should use it with some blue ink. I think I going to use blue you know what forget it let's just go ahead and use, use red we're just going to use some red ink and this is my favorite um let's see what is this one here this is the archival my favorite ranger archival ink and it's vermilion i believe is what it's how you say it it's vermilion red okay so we're going to go ahead and just stamp this like so Okay, and I already went ahead and I just adhered that top layer down to that bottom layer. Um, so now, all we're going to do is just go ahead and just put that, like so, how cute and easy and quick was that. So, let me see, let's just, no, I don't want to use this one. Let's go ahead, let me find some little twine to wrap that up with. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it with craft color. Okay. This way to kind of throw a different color in here. So let's go ahead and just put this like so. I'm going to put this through the little hole here. I knew there was another way we could use this dye. I just knew it. <laughs> I just couldn't think of it quick enough. <laughs> so I'm so glad I thought about it. Perfect timing for our five days of Christmas. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do that. And I'm just going to go ahead and just make a simple, just a simple little bow here. Nothing fancy. Okie dokie, let's pull this through. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and just give the little edges a trimmy trim here. Just like so, and just keep it super simple. Now what I might do is, um, you know what, I think I may... I'm going to go ahead and little, put a little glue dot just so it won't be just like that. I want it to go off to the side like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put oopsie, a little glue dot right underneath there. Let me grab it really quick here. Okay, so here we go. Let me grab something to... Okay, I have these little mini glue dots here that I'm just going to go ahead and just pick up with my little stylus here and just put it put it like so you see how just so it won't move so it can look a little bit more presentable okay so how cute is that I'm so sorry if I messed up my camera if everything wasn't in here I had taken my camera down to video my son had his very first wrestling match over the weekend, let me tell you, it was crazy because um, I'm so used to baseball tournaments and this was a wrestling tournament. I wasn't used to those, but 
let me tell you very interesting um my son didn't didn't win but he did an excellent job i was very very impressed so for being his first one he did excellent so anyways i had taken apart my my tripod off of my camera and um I just put it together right before the video and I couldn't remember exactly how I did it before so if I'm out of the camera and everything that's because that's why because I had it with me over the weekend okay everybody so that is it I hope you enjoyed my super quick little treat for you today uh, don't forget to um, visit my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing team has done for you today and also um, just so you know, you could throw pencils in here. Um, you can make a little hole here and just kind of hang these on the tree. Um, I just thought about that just now. Um, but anyways, and that's it. And then let me go ahead and tell you what the prize is for today. I don't have it in hand right now. But the prize for today, you will be getting a Ranger, um, a Ranger heat tool um, along with a craft mat. And the craft mat, so the heat dolls is basically, you know, the little heat guns to use, you know, after you emboss. And then you'll also get a craft mat. Here goes my small version. Of course, you'll get the big version, you know what I'm saying? The regular size version, I should say, because I like to trim mine down sometimes. Um, so one lucky winner will be getting a, a Ranger heat tool, which is a really good heat tool, by the way, along with that craft mat. So don't forget to leave your comments for a chance to win and I will announce that on my blog tomorrow morning first thing. So thanks again so much for tuning in everybody. Have a fabulous day and don't forget to join us back tomorrow for day two of our five days of Christmas. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.